So the Qur'an tells us the central role of Arabic language to the revelation itself. And the whole of this religion centers around the revelation of the Qur'an. What Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala chose for it to be revealed in the language of, of Arabic. The language of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. nataqa bil The one who is most eloquent of those who pronounce the letter dad. Reference to the Arabic language itself. I was taught how to read the Qur'an and, and, and how to basically read and write Arabic uh, since a young age. But um, obviously I've never been able to understand the book. Um, and it's always felt like um, there's, there's something missing when you, when you engage in the book. Um, although there is there's immense reward for, for just reading it, it's, it's, it's always felt like there's, there's more that I can do. And although there's great blessings in reading the Qur'an just because it's the Qur'an, but the moment you have the keys to the Qur'an, which is Arabic, then your experience of the Qur'an radically changes. It's, it's something very different. That there's a pleasure, there's a leather and an enjoyment in reciting the Qur'an. As I've gotten older, the desire to understand the words of the Qur'an and also to be able to understand what it is that you recite in the prayers and the litanies that we make on a daily basis. Likewise, we have the statements of Sayyidina Umar radiallahu anhu arda. One of the masters of Arabic, he said, He said, Learn Arabic and teach it to people because it is part of religion. And Sayyidina Umar al-Ban here is pushing us and encouraging us not only to learn Arabic, but telling us the very reason why we should learn Arabic because Arabic is a central part of our religion. And in light of that, we've introduced a course a course where we teach Arabic language to to those who are not accustomed, to those who are not fluent within Arabic language. It has been something that I've, I've wanted to, to do for a while um, and also to be able to engage with the traditions, the hadith of the Prophet uh, without going via translation. I could read and write um, pretty comfortably. Um, so when I, when I started in terms of conversing and, and being able to understand conversations, I was really a beginner to, to be fair. In the first year of this course, we introduced people to speaking Arabic, to, to trying to understand Arabic. Not from a technical perspective, just allowing people to enjoy the language of Arabic. I mean, I do sort of a couple of hours each way traveling to, to get to the lessons um, and, and normally if I didn't enjoy the lesson I don't think I could have carried that on. And that environment has really been facilitated in, in, the, in the classroom setting um, partly because everybody there is really happy to be there and is enjoying it but also partly because the teacher is, is really facilitating that communication and is very relaxed himself and you're not frightened to make mistakes. This is about acquiring a language itself, about, about getting comfortable with the language. And in the classroom itself, you'll be asked to, to construct sentences in Arabic language. You'll be encouraged to speak in, in the class. You'll be, you'll be pushed constantly to try and overcome these barriers that are natural within a person. Often, the reason why a person struggles with language is the fear of making mistakes. But a person cannot learn unless they, unless they make mistakes. Uh, it's only been a few months, but within those short few months that we've been studying, we've gone from having the classes in, 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 in English to doing them fully in Arabic. Obviously, the teacher knows where we're at, so he's using language that, that we're comfortable with. Uh, and then you, you, you just essentially just trying to speak and using the terms and, and, and things that you've learned already. And, and, and it's very enjoyable. I have to 
قهوتي بغير السكر بغير سكر نعم لكن عفوا انت قلت قبل اخذت السكر ووضعت السكر لزوجتي مع الورده نعم ورده 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 احمر حمراء حمراء نعم حمراء and even though the student himself will be making a lot of mistakes, he doesn't see that as a reason to stop learning. So the, the classroom environment itself is an environment that engenders that process of learning. It pushes a person to want to learn more. We're covering a, um, a series of books from a very basic level, and in every lesson, we cover a new role play or conversation and the role play and conversation brings in new words and, and concepts that you're covering. One of the best things about the course has been the structure. One thing that's, that's been key has been the fact that we've not really been left to, to really not do much during the week in between lessons. We have two lessons a week, um, so one, one was on a Monday and one on a Friday. And then outside of that we have two weekly review sessions where between ourselves as students we've been split into groups and one of the students will lead the review session and we revise the material that we're covering in the class. Um, it's quite a lot of material and it requires quite a lot of time and input on your part. I think if you're serious and you're committed, the fruits are there to, to see. Although it needs a lot of dedication, it needs a lot of commitment, at the end of it, you'll taste the fruits of it. And that's why in our first year that we've launched this course properly, we have students in the space of five to six months already beginning to interact with the language of the Qur'an, speaking basic sentence. In the four and a half months since we, since we started, to be honest, where I'm at is far beyond where I thought I would be in such a short space of time and be able to have a basic conversation and, and, and ask and, and understand what's being said. At a, at a fairly decent level, I would say. And it, it really feels like an achievement being able to sit in a lesson where, where everybody's speaking Arabic, the teacher's just teaching in Arabic, and, and you can understand. I mean, we just had an exam recently whereby we had to speak for five minutes. Uh, and doing that felt like a really big achievement because I, I would have never, never been able to do that at the beginning of the course. So I, I think we've come a long way, but obviously there's a lot more to do. We can't give guarantees, but our hope and our intention is that those who last the course, those who do the three years of the course, will come out of it at the end, having fluency and understanding, speaking and reading Arabic language, to the point where the student will be able to open a book and without any real difficulty be able to understand it. He'll be reading Qur'an and without any real difficulty be understanding, grasping the, the key meanings of the Qur'an.